to continue on. I believe this is what part five. I think we left off with what killing the mayor. Crazy young whippersnappers. Warning: trespassing on government property will oh, result yeah. in your immediate death. Thank you. These aren't gonna stop us, Hunter. No, no tools today. Sorry. Please exit through the gift shop. All right. Where did the demo coming from? I said you're a dad. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be do it. Where did she come from? Oh, please, please lie to Someone. me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. I was going to let you live, you dumb bastard. What is wrong with you? Oh, that was... Invigorating. Okay, yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby. Hell yeah. Shopping list simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser is gonna kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Bill? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Rick. Oh, yeah. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big soz. But your best bet's a mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle. Lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach, mind, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. Now then, I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way.
should probably stop by um Craig's Earl or whatever his name is. More space. On the moon and you wanna zoom? You know which It ain't easy to get to Pickle's place on foot, but I can help you out with ready for it? A stingray. It's old dial tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the design, so now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on. So happens that Scrambler, uh, came my way. It's supposed to unlock digestructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a stingray there, I'll fix it so all moon zoomies are stingrayed up. <coughs> and left Elpis, they integrated Moxie's improvements into the production model. They deny it, though. Plug in the scrambler to that Digistruct machine. Yeah, that's it. Now just order yourself up a Stingray. Okay. Been able to hack their system to copy a fresh plan over, so you'll be able to digestruct these anywhere from now on. Now get your backside to see Pickle. Though feel free to get a feel for her first. See what she can do. Now you're on a stingray. You can jump that. No worries. Probably. Nice. I've told Pickle you're coming. Just go meet him. Let's go. Vault Hunter, this is Colonel Zarpadon of the Lost Legion. Soon Elpis will be rubble. I will be dead from the explosion along with everyone on Elpis and most of those living on Pandora below. I've seen you fight, and I respect your skill. If you agree to leave now, I will send you an interstellar ship. We will not follow you. Think it over. Pretty good deal. Why didn't you take it? What do you think we were? A bunch of mustache twirling villains? Jack hired us to kill bad guys, get paid, and help people. No different from you. You say you're anything like us, and I'll kill you where you stand. Konnichiwa, everybody. Well, can I'm around the bunkers and badasses? Not now, Tina. Oh, right. Here's time. <laughs> Can Vehicle skin on my. Mm-hmm. 
People keep on texting me. Hold on.
I go there or where do I go? This way. Pretty sure hey. I want to go. It's Jack, right? I'm Roland. Moxie dropped me a line. Said you need a hand building robots. My uh colleague, Lilith, and I spotted some old doll industrial complexes dotted around the area. A scout around might solve your hardware problem. We'll let you know. Sounds good. Back on me when you got something. <coughs> Whoa, the things they got over there look bang tidy. Here to help. If the price is right. Good to meet you. The privilege is all mine. Spring says you're trying to get your mitts on some military AI. Well, it's your lucky day. You can half inch one from the Drakensberg. I hear the bosun and the skipper who run that place are well known collectors of rare and nifty intelligences of the artificial persuasion. Trouble is, it's not like you can just walk right up to the place and ask to have an AI. I'm programmed to be foolishly optimistic in situations such as these, so I totally can. Cocky, eh? Fair enough. They're a tricky pair, but maybe they'll let you on board right off the bat. I'm updating your echo with the most direct route there. Truth is. Concord. Okay, I can. I kind of figured I could. I just wasn't sure. The Drakensberg's a juicy wreck, all right. Ex-Dial frigate, don't you know? But it's stuffed with tech I could half-inch pinch. The bosun and skipper have been good at keeping me out. But now you're here, that's about to change. <laughs>
back in my day. I don't know what I'm going for. I would be, um, selecting the right of ripe-smelling scabs live there, led by the bosun and his friend, what's called the Skipper. Not that anyone knows what she looks like, which makes your head scratch. Anyway, find a way inside, and don't be shy to say hello to the locals on the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jackson will tear you to pieces. What do you say? Ha! Called it, didn't I? I was totally wrong, which is super normal. Do you have an alternate plan to reach the Dragonsburg? Glad you asked. The bridge has a manual override nearby. I'm uploading its location to your echo. Is that the squealing little thief Pickle Eye here? Well, nah. If you're with him, I've got half a mind to let you over here so I can pull your legs off and make you go jogging. Listen, you and the kid should stay away. That was your Come one here, plan. Let me shoot Too. I need you to dump the methane from the reservoirs into the lava. We'll create our own path by cooling it off. This is gonna be ace! I'm warning you, kid. You and your pet folk had to try any funny business. <laughs> That's your brilliant plan! <laughs> Just a bump in the road is all. I do have another bright idea, though. I think our definitions of bright might be diametrically opposed. <laughs> the methane pumping station was shut down after the crackling. Explains why there weren't no methane in the reservoirs. We need to reactivate the pumping station. That'll do the job. Uh, and by we, I mean you.
not a surprise, then, but something for you to think about. Okay, so apparently it's random chains. When you think murder, think Marcus Munitions.
probably won't work if I fill your Volt Hunter with bullets. treatment plant and transfer it. Try to see what the deal is. How far is that? Sounded better in your head. Thank <laughs> you. 
I swear if I spawn it back all the way over here. I was going to What we can dump this. Is like, I think I've only been recording for like 46 minutes. No, we got more. Oh, right. Precocious little asshole! Oh, man. Dragon's 